Hi, welcome to Jen and Cass. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to add a custom font to your Kajabi landing page or website. Uh, this is a technique we use a lot on our template studio uh, themes and with our clients that we work with one-on-one -on -one when we are creating their Kajabi websites. Uh, you can see here that I'm using it um, on this theme. This is actually a sneak peek at one of our themes that I am currently working on. It's going to be coming out here within the next week. Hopefully, fingers crossed, um, or maybe it's already out by the time that you are viewing this video. And it's using the Summer Pisces custom font that I downloaded from the dafont.com website. Um, and I used the technique. Um, I, if you don't know much about us yet, we uh, run the templatestudio.co and bridgeeducation.co. At Bridge Education, we create custom landing pages for uh, clients who are working inside of Kajabi. And then at the templatestudio.co, we are creating custom themes that you can just go on and purchase and upload straight to your store. And uh, moving forward, I'd say a majority of these themes are going to be using custom themes, custom designs, just, you know, the whole lot works. Without further ado, this is how you are going to be able to add a custom font to your own Kajabi page. So the first step is you're going to need a couple of tools before you get started. One, you're going to need the Kajabi Pro plan uh, that is going to give you access to the code editor. And then two, you're going to need a font that you're going to want to use. There's a couple of websites that you can use. I mean, there's tons of websites across the web that will give you fonts that you can use. Um, my favorite, as I mentioned earlier, is dafont.com. I've been using this since my freshman year of college. And I, I love this one because it gives you so many different options and you can see what things look like before you even download them. I didn't mean to click on that. Let's go back to, um, where's handwritten? Script handwritten. And one of the important things to note is that if you're going to use these fonts, you need to click on 100% free or you need to make a purse you need to make a purchase donation or you need to make sure you check the license on these things so if you're going to use this let's type in cassia that's my name the one that i ended up downloading for this uh tutorial is summer pisces i love the way this looks i love that scripty font you just click on it. What you want to make sure is that it's going to be a TTF file. This means that it's going to be able to be read on the web. So you just go ahead and click download. It's going to give you this zip file. If you open it up, you're going to see that it gives you this TTF file. Now what you want to do is drag it over to your desktop. And you can see that I have mine right here and it's titled summerpisces.ttf and I made sure you get rid of all spaces and all dashes. Just make it one solid word. So now your first step and I want to do a page is to go ahead and pull up your page click on the dot dot dots, click edit code. I'll close all these. Now step one, go to assets, upload asset, and then you're going to drag your new font file into there. 
So that's going to upload and you can see I've already uploaded it in here and it uploaded right here under summerpisces.ttf. Now I'm going to pull up my notebook because I have all my notes and then I'm going to copy this and this is in the description below the video so you can refer to this. Step two, you need to go to templates and then index for landing pages or layouts then theme for websites so you can see right here we're going to go to templates index if you're doing pages if you're doing this for a website you need to go to layouts and then theme and then if you are happening to use the Encore website which Kajabi is coming out with very soon you need to you go to global head dot liquid so for now I'm gonna go to um, templates, index, and then you're going to copy this code right here, and then you're going to paste it around line 25. And you can see I've already pasted it right in here, and I always paste it right above this little Google Fonts. You can see that I've already pasted a code right here. But I, and I always, you can see that I've pasted a code already and I always go and I paste it right above the Google fonts. And so you can just copy and paste uh, whatever it is that I pasted in the description. And so what it is, you're going to change is you're going to match this source URL to match the exact font file name of what you just uploaded. So I uploaded summerpisces.ttf. You know, if it, you uploaded, you know, uh, whatever that file name is, you're going to change it right here. Then font family, you can call this whatever you want. I always name it just the same name as the asset that I uploaded. And then uh, make sure it's closed out with an end bracket and it's closed out with an end style. I have a few in here if you want to do multiple that's totally fine. You can add a million in here if that's what you really wanted. Just make sure it's closed out and everything is neat. One thing to note, and I did put into the notes here, you need to make sure that the quotes are these quotes and not these quotes. And Kajabi's going to tell you if they're not the right quotes. But I don't want you spinning your wheels, you know, about some quote that's not even right. And I'm trying to see if I can uh, replicate the issue right now. See, there we go. So you see how this quote is different than this quote right here? And you can tell because this isn't blue. And the way to fix that, and sometimes if you pull this, if you pull my code into a Word document and you start editing and you're using, if you're using the quotes from the Word document, If you pull my quote, if you pull my code into a Word document and you're using the quotes in there and you pull it into here, you know, sometimes they're going to pull like this and it's the code's not going to work. All you need to do is delete that and then put one in here. Boom. Fixed. Okay. Then step three, 
go to config, and then settings dot dash schema or underscore schema. And so you scroll to right about here, line 46. It's going to say body font, and then you're going to have another one right here. This is heading font. You need to do it for both. Uh, this just means it's just, just adding it to the drop down of both that body font and that heading font drop downs. And you're just going to copy this right here. So then you're going to paste it in right here. Let me paste it in there so I can. And then I always make it nice and neat, like the ones above. And so essentially, this is just saying uh, the value needs to be the exact same from what you put in the previous step. So for me, I didn't put Summer Pisces two words, I put Summer Pisces one word. And I'll jump over here to show you. So index, I put, let's see, Summer Pisces. So it needs to be the same as that font family. And then the label means what do you want it to say in the drop down in Kajabi? You can even have it say my custom font. You know, or if you're working with a client, and I'm speaking to you graphic designers out there, you web designers, you can say like choose this font, like this is your custom font. <laughs> and then so then you copy this over to the heading font and then click save. And then that's it, you're done. So now when you go over to your website, go to your pages, you click customize. Okay, so then once you go to settings and your style guide, when you pull these fonts down, there it is, all your all your custom fonts are right here. And so you just click that and it's going to pull it over. For me, and if you want to do some custom code, I have these custom coded in just for H1, H2, and H3, so that if I decide to use the H4, H5, H6 tags, I can use a third font. And that adds a th uh, an extra uh, dimension to your custom page. Then you just click save. Yeah, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, <laughs> this this tutorial might seem a little bit confusing at first. But honestly, when it, you know, when I first did it, I was like, oh, wow, this is so confusing. But now I do it by memory. So don't be intimidated. You're going to get it, you know, in an instant. Um, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll answer them as soon as we can. Uh, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and all the things. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Bye.